Hello. Today, we're going to continue our exploration of applications of equations. The last video was about proportional linear relationships. This video is about non-proportional linear relationships. We're still going to be looking at tables, equations, and situations. The relationships changed, but the tables still exist, the equations still exist, and the situations still exist. When we did proportional linear relationships, they involved only multiplying. If each thing cost $5, one of it would be 5, 2 would be 10, 3 would be 15, 4 would be 20, etc. In non-proportional linear relationships, it's multiplying and adding. So, let's say you started with some money, let's say $10, and you added $2 every minute. So, when you first start, you have $10, and then you have $12, then you have $14, then you have $16, then you have $18. So, four days would be four times two is eight, plus 10 is 18. So that's the basic difference between proportional and non-proportional. Proportional, all you're doing is multiplying. Non-proportional, since it starts with something, you multiply and you have to add. But we'll get into more details about that in a few minutes. Okay, let's begin. First, let's review proportional linear relationships. So here's the situation. 20 lions eat 500 pounds of food each per week. How much food per lion is that? Well, we have to do some dividing. So we'll do 500 divided by 20 is 25. So how much food per lion is that? 25 pounds per lion. Notice, when I answer this, I put the value 25, but I also put the compound unit pounds per lion. Your answer is not correct unless you put the compound unit pounds per lion. Okay, what is K? Well, K is 25 because it says so. That's the unit rate. K is the unit rate. What is the equation? Y equals 25X. Now let's fill this in. Zero lions, no food. One lion, 25. Two lions, 50. Three lions, 75. Get the idea? Now, where is K in this table? K is right here. Where is it in the equation? Right here. And there's one more thing where K is. It is also the common difference. To go from 0 to 25, we add 25. To go from 25 to 50, we add 25. To go from 50 to 75, we add 25. So K is two different places in the table that are important. It's a couple more places also, but there's, those two are what is important. Okay, so now, let's get this back to the right size, and we'll go to non-proportional. Okay. The situation is a tree is planted when it is three feet tall. Notice, it's not zero at the beginning. It starts out three feet tall. It grows an additional 30 feet over the next five years. So those three feet are not part of the initial three feet. In the initial three feet are not part of this 30 feet over the next several years. Okay? Now, let me just erase this so you can read it. And I'm going to highlight it just once more so that you can see it, make it clear. How fast is the growing? So it's 30 feet over the next five years. We'll do 30 divided by 5 equals 6. Therefore, it is growing 6 feet per year. Notice, it has the number 6, but it also has the compound unit. Make sure you include the compound unit. 
and showing how you got it, right there you're going to show your division. How tall was the tree when it was planted? Well, it tells us right there. It was three feet tall. Notice the number three, but then the unit also. Make sure you're including your units. Okay. What is M? Well, M is six. M is the same idea as K. It's the unit rate. So this is M. What is B? B is the starting amount. That's three. This is B, the start amount. Start amount is B, and M is the unit rate. That's what they're called. Instead of K, it's M. There is no B, or B is equal to zero when it's proportional. Going to skip what is the equation for now. We'll go to the table. All right, let's figure out how much, how tall is this thing each year? Okay, you plant it. No time has passed. It's three feet tall. Three. Three feet at the beginning. It grows six feet per year. So one year, one times six, it's growing six feet. But it's not six feet tall now. It was originally three feet. So we'll do one times six plus three is nine. Now it's two years. So that's two times six. Two years plus the initial three. Twelve, two times six is twelve plus three is fifteen feet. Three, that's three times six plus three. 18 plus three is 21. And the equation, now notice, this is one times six plus three, two times six plus three, three times six plus three. We are always multiplying by six, and we are always adding three. Multiply by six, add three. So y equals 6x, multiply by 6, and add 3. So it's really very simple to get the equation. This m goes right there. This 3, this b goes right there. The form of the equation is y equals mx plus b, where this is m and this is B. M is the unit rate, and B is the start amount. All you have to do is plug those in, and you get the equation. All right, let's try it. So, so let's now copy this information over. So this is the same situation. It was growing at six feet per year. It was three feet at the beginning. M is six, B is three. The equation is Y equals six X plus three. The table goes three, nine, 15, 21. Well, here's why I copied this over. Where can I find, here in the equation, this is M. And this is B. Where can I find those in the table? Well, the easiest one to find is three because there's three right there. So B is here when X equals zero, Y is B. So look for the zero and find B. But where's the six? There's no six in the table. Up here when it was proportional, all we had to do was look at one and there was, there was K, 
where's M? Where's M in our new table? One goes to nine, not six. Well, it's that old thing of the common difference. How do you go from three to nine? You add six. How do you go from nine to 15? You add six. How do you go from 15 to 21? You add six. And that's where you find M. M is the common difference. M is the common difference. Okay, so that is right here. Whatever you have to add to go from thing to thing to thing, that's M. All right, let's compare. Proportional linear relationships, it is y equals kx. For non-proportional, it's y equals mx plus b. This is only multiplying. This one is multiplying and adding. This one, when 1 is x, k is y. This one, that doesn't work. m is the common difference. So it is the unit rate. In this one, k is also the unit rate. This one has no start amount. It's technically the start amount is zero, but that's essentially no start amount. Here, b is the start amount. So it has a non-zero start amount. It's found at zero B, wherever, if you look at the table, see when zero, that's where B is. It's the start amount. Okay, those are the differences. I will now go through how to find all the answers in these types of questions. You will have a question that starts with a situation. Here's an example. A pepper plant is five centimeters tall when planted. So let's start to answer already. How tall was it at the beginning? Five centimeters. No need to show any work. It's given to you right in the question. After 20 days, it has grown an additional 15 centimeters. How fast is it growing? Well. We want 15 divided by 20, 15 centimeters, 20 days, equals 3 fourths, because I simplified it, centimeters per day. Uh-oh. There we go. Centimeters per day. Notice I give the unit, the number, and the compound unit centimeters per day. Without the centimeters per day, your answer is not complete. So M is the unit rate, so M is 3 fourths. B is the start amount, so B is 5. The equation Y equals MX plus B, but we don't want to use M, we want to use the value of M. What's the value of M? three-fourths. We don't want to use b, we want to use the value of b. What's the value of b? Five. All right, let's fill in the table. Zero. Three-fourths times zero is zero. Zero plus five is five. Three-fourths times one is three-fourths plus five is five and three-fourths. Three-fourths times two is six-fourths. 
3 fourths times 2 is 6 fourths, which simplifies to 3 halves. 3 halves plus 5. 5 is 10 halves. And 3 plus 10 is 13, so that is 13 halves. If you want to write that as a mixed number, that would be 6 and 1 half. 3 fourths times 3 is 9 fourths plus 5. 5 is 20 fourths, so that would be 29 fourths. If you want to write that as a mixed number, 7 and 1 fourth. And that finishes it. So, to find out how fast it's growing, you divide 15 by 20 right there. To see how tall it was at the beginning, all you have to do is copy the information from the situation right there. This is M and this is B then this goes to here right in front of the X and this goes to here after the plus sign Y equals MX plus B replace M with the M which is 3 fourths replace B with the B which is 5 and that's how easy this is next one now we start with an equation first it will describe the situation you start out with some money in your bank account over time you make regular deposits every week the relationship between the number of weeks that have gone by and the total balance in your account is given by this equation y equals 15 x plus b all amounts are given in dollars so what is m well m is 15 it's given to you right there it says 15 x what is B? It is 40. It is given to you right there. How much did you have at the beginning? Well, the beginning amount, the start amount is B. So you had $40. That's whatever B is. B is given to you right there in the equation. That is B. That is the start amount. All amounts are given in dollars, so it's $40. How much did you deposit each week? Well, that's the unit rate. That's M. So this number goes right here. You deposited $15 per week. Notice, I give it using the unit rate, dollars per week. Always give the unit rate. All right, complete this table. Well, zero, how much did we start with? 40. So, 15. Remember the equation up here, 15x plus 40. Well, 15 times 1 is 15, plus 40 is $55. 15 times 2 is 30, plus 40 is 70. 15 times 3 is 45, plus 40 is 85. Notice you could also do 40 plus 15 is 55, 55 plus 15 is 70. 70 plus 15 is 85. Both are correct because adding over and over again is multiplying. Okay, let's start with a table. Okay, so a club is charging an initiation fee when you first sign up and then charges you a certain amount each month. The total amount that you have paid to the club over the number of months is given by this table. Here's the table. What was the initiation fee? Well, that's before you even, when you first joined, that's before any months happened. That's B, so that amount is written right here, and that means that it is $50. What is the monthly charge? Well, we have to figure out how much they charge each month, so let's find the common difference. 6850 take away 15 means that we added 1850. Is that true here? 87 minus 6850 is 1850. 87 to 1550 means a zero. That is 1850. 
So how, what's the monthly charge? $18.50 per month. That's what it goes up by. Every month they charge, you have to add $18.50 to the total amount you've charged. And I got that by figuring out what to add, and to figure out what to add, you subtract. All right, what is B? Well, B is the start amount, so that's 50, and that comes from right there. What is M? M is the monthly fee, or the rate, so that comes from right there. That's 1850, that comes from right there. And what is the equation? Well, that's simple, we already know that it's y equals mx plus b, so it's y equals 18.5, I don't put the extra zero because I don't need it for dollars and cents, x plus 50, and there's the equation. All you have to do is plug in that, and plug in that, and that's as simple as it can be. You have three different types of, equ of questions. You start with a situation, you divide to find the rate, that rate is m, that goes into the equation right in front of the x. It tells you the start amount, that's the, how tall at the beginning, the start amount, that is b, and it goes in right after the plus sign. Or you're given an equation. The number in front of x is m, the number that's added is b. How much do you have at the count at the beginning? That's b. How much do you deposit each week? That's m. Then you use the equation to find, fill in the table. Given the table, the initiation fee is the amount at zero. The monthly charge is the common difference. b is the initiation fee, m is the monthly charge, Fill in the information to make the equation. And that's the only types of questions you have. I hope that this has been helpful to you. Please make sure to send me questions.